guys welcome to my channel my name is Chloe and today I wanted to do my second video in uh, my videos that I've been doing for hauls of different vendors so in my very first YouTube video I did a like exposing my vendors video and I was honestly really nervous and I didn't know a lot of information on my vendors at the time um, I was kind of like experimenting and I think a lot of small business owners end up doing that. Like you buy from here and here and here, and then you buy the same items from different stores, or at least I do, cause I wanna like compare quality and price. Um, I like being very informed. So because of that, I figured this could help you guys. So I'll kind of do the purchasing and reviewing for you because I probably wasted over the past two years hundreds of dollars on clothing and vendors that maybe I wouldn't buy from now. So yeah, I was just hoping that this is one of those things that could give people some free information because there's actually an increasing amount of YouTubers I've noticed who are actually revealing real vendors and real information, which is really refreshing, but like bad timing, I could have used it years ago. But I mean, there's becoming a plethora of information online for small business owners, which is great because there really has never been that other than a couple of uh, boutique YouTube channels. So anyways, uh, today I ordered from Hot and Delicious. I made about a $400 order from them and I ordered four packs of clothes. So I'm going to review each pack and each piece and just talk about the styles a little bit because they do transition in and out depending on the current styles and trends going on. And with the internet, like I sound like such a grandma, but <laughs> with the internet, like things go so quickly, like one week there'll be one style and then you order it, you receive it and then a new style is already popular. So um, it's also important to build vendor relationships and a lot of them do it through WhatsApp. And if you do that, then they can let you know when they're bringing stuff in and you can pre-order. So um, that's a good tool because things are always transitioning so quickly. Uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys the packs of clothes. And this is so weird, but I'm gonna show you guys the boxes that they came in because um, I don't know one of them I just thought was really weird like I don't know it was just really weird so I'm just gonna give like a full review boxes and all so I'm gonna start with the box and like I said I know this is like a weird thing to do but I just thought that was weird so I received this um within about two days okay so first actually I'm gonna touch on their shipping time I ordered from them on Friday of last week and I got my shipment on Monday so I was like oh that's really good shipping time I mean in my opinion like that's like Amazon shipping so and it was from Fashion Go I ordered all this uh through Fashion Go uh from Hot and Delicious so their shipping was ridiculously fast I ordered two shipments from them when I received my first one I was like okay quality is good um and then I ordered a second shipment. So when I got my first box, it was, oh, I feel like I just showed you guys my information. I don't think I did. So I got my first box in this priority mailbox. And the reason why, like, I'm not trying to be annoying, but the reason why I was like, oh, that's interesting was because it was taped up like there was a bomb in it and I was like mm. like it was very it wasn't crushed it was just taped like very weird um kind of just covered in tape like this is the side and it doesn't look bad but the top where the label was like you could see it was a huge taped mess it was just really weird like as if they went to ship it out and then I don't know I'm not I shouldn't be reviewing the tape that's so annoying of me but anyways I also was surprised it came in a priority box I found that to be a little odd too 
because I've never ordered from a vendor and had it come in a priority mail. I don't know. I don't know. I'm being annoying, but it was weird. It was very weird. And then they wrote a bunch of writing all over the side. And like, it was just like very um, kind of unprofessional in my opinion, because I order my own mailers for everything I send out. So I just was like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. It was just weird to me. So that's how that box came. And then the second box came in a really, really nicely packed brown box, like how I would have expected the first one. So I'm sorry for going on for two minutes about a box, but the box was weird to me. So the first item that I got, let me get it and I'll show you. Okay, so this was the first item that I purchased and I purchased these because I was actually talking with my boyfriend's mom and she was like, people are buying bikinis right now. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. So I guess I'm not somebody, I buy bikinis like once every two years. I just, I'm not somebody who like keeps up with buying them. But I guess it is summer and people are buying them. Uh, and it's a good thing that I should have probably kept up with in the first place, being that I have a store where people may, while searching for other clothing, search for stuff that would make sense for the season. So um, I ended up picking up this bikini set. And Hot and Delicious comes in packs of 222. So it's too small, too medium, and too large. And um, I'm going to talk about the quality for a minute. So to be completely honest, it feels really nice. It really honestly does. And I don't have a problem with how it feels. I have a problem with how it looks. So on the model, nothing see-through. But I don't know if you can see my hand through it, like the actual color of my hand. But... Um, in person, it definitely would show your nipples, like, for sure. And that bothers me as far as quality control that they didn't think to put any padding or um, anything like that. I don't know. It didn't seem to represent what was in the photo exactly because whenever you get in water, like, I don't know, maybe, like, maybe this doesn't happen to everybody, but if the water's really cold, like, your nipples will get hard. And then whenever that happens, like, I don't understand what they think is going to happen. Like, it's going to be see-through and then also show the imprint of your nipple. And there's no inserts for padding, more importantly. So, uh, for that reason, I was like, oh, I don't love that. I wasn't mad at it, but I didn't love it. And, um, yeah, that was something that, like, I would take into consideration buying swimwear, swimwear from them again. But um, overall, it's really cute and the quality feels nice. It's just a little see-through. So um, yeah, there was that. Okay, so I got the last bikini for uh, $14.50 and then I got these bikinis for $14.50 as well. And I like these slightly more. It's probably because I'm somebody who wears more black. So um, I probably wouldn't pick a white bikini in the first place. But that doesn't matter what I like. Like, that has nothing to do with my business. So just for me, I like this one more. Um, it's another bikini. It is the same quality, but because it's black, it's the same style as well. It's actually not see-through. Um, if you were in direct sunlight and again like if you know you're in the water and your nipples probably still would show through this and i really don't understand the logic behind not putting padding and that's just coming from a consumer standpoint because um a lot of stuff i buy or price whatever i do have to look at it from a consumer standpoint and I did question why a brand would not leave an open slit for padding. Yeah, I'm double checking. Like, that's just so bizarre to me. That's so weird to me. But, I mean, overall, I think they're cute. I think they're really cute. And, like, I would buy this for sure. Um, I really like triangle bikinis, but they're not really in this year from what I've seen at all. So, um... I can't get any for my store because I honestly haven't seen any popular vendors selling them. But yeah, I think these are really cute. These were $14.50 a piece. 
So bikini sets are sometimes like $19.99 for a top or a bottom. So this could be priced, this and the white one, at like $39. I think I priced mine at $29 just to have some competitive pricing. But yeah, that's, um, that's my thoughts on these. My video was, got cut off because I keep getting these solicitor calls. I don't know if you guys get those. They annoy the shit out of me. I get them all day. Um, like people calling saying like, this is your last warning from the IRS. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I just hate that. I literally hate that. So that's why it got cut off. But um, my final thoughts on the white and black pieces is that I really like both of them. Um, I think they're both nice quality. My one complaint or constructive criticism for their future bathing suits or bikinis would be to put padding. I really I don't get no padding. That's like really weird to me and no slot to put in your own padding. So um, like, I don't understand if you're supposed to wear a bra underneath or a bandeau or um, I, I don't know. I, I honestly could not figure out why they would do that. But um, other than that, really nice, um, really cute. I would say that it's pretty high quality. And also one other thing on all these pieces is that these are, are already tagged, but you actually can put your own tags on these items. You just need to contact them. So it says black bead. Black bead um, is like the extension to their brand. So I'm actually going to try to insert more information somewhere right now. So this vendor is located in downtown Los Angeles on Croker or Crocker Street. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. They have a storefront and an online presence and they are one of the biggest leading wholesale women's brands in LA and like on Fashion Go period, just in general. So um, it's a very big brand and I'm going to get more into what brand it is and more details in a minute, but I forgot like the basic information. Uh, shipping is not included on their online orders and when you go in person, you just go in with your seller's permit. They also specialize particularly in women's club wear. So they do sell like regular pants and whatnot, but they're very Fashion Nova-ish. So um, they sell mostly club wear and stuff like that, but I just wanted to include that before I go more into the video because I completely, it flew over my head to talk about like the main things about this brand. I could not find when they were founded at all for some reason, but, or who the owner is, um, but they are a very popular leading brand in LA and, um, yeah, you can find them in person or online. now because um i don't know exactly why they're called hot and delicious but then they brand all their clothes as black bead but um yeah all their clothes say black bead on the tags and none of them show sizing and i've actually noticed this with a lot of vendors that whenever you order one of the sizes that you're looking for like a pack of clothing and then they send it to you there's usually no sizing on it so um, you have to separate them and figure out which size is which size. And they're in order of sizes, but still, like, I don't know. I'm not a genius like that. I don't I don't know exactly which size if you haven't marked it very particularly for me. So I'm going to get the next pack and show you guys what else I got. So this piece um, I was a little unsure of getting because I wanted to get it in like every color. I didn't want to just get one color. It had nothing to do with um, the product itself. I really liked it. I just, I wanted all the colors because it it's like a basic. And I feel like whenever you go to Target or Walmart or wherever you might shop at, like you go in there and then they have one style of a basic in a bunch of colors. And I like that because like, I can choose from what I want and so I got the most basic color possible because of this but um, this was $10 a piece and it came in a pack of six all of their clothes do so these are 
This is just like a regular spaghetti strap crop top. The quality, it's really thick. It actually, it feels more like what the swimwear should have felt like, honestly, but um, I'm not complaining about the swimwear. It's really, it was good quality as well, but um, the padding just gets me. So this is really thick. Um, you can actually like see the thickness of it. And um, it has a little bit lower back line, which is sexy. And I mean, to me, I really like stuff like that. So I definitely would recommend this item. They're probably sold out. They're bringing in new styles daily and they sell out pretty quickly. Um, my last video, I did a Tresser haul and they're the same way, like very popular, sell out really quickly. Hot and Delicious is actually carried in Fashion Nova and in Dolls Kill. So um, a lot of LA, you know, stores and stuff buy from these similar vendors. Um, but you might notice whenever you get a package from Fashion Nova, you open it and it's like it says Black Bead or Hot and Delicious on it, not Fashion Nova, and that's why. So um, I'm going to get my last pack of clothing that I got and show you guys what I got for that. So before I show you guys, I'm going to be like awkwardly just standing there for a minute because um, these are really long and they're two-piece sets and it's like a long pencil set. So I'm going to show you guys from a distance and um, please don't judge my outfit. I don't know why anybody's dressing up during quarantine. So um, yeah, anyways, I'm just going to show you guys. So in the video, I was trying to show you guys the length of the outfit. I don't think I represented it well, but it's fine. So I did my best. Basically, this comes in a pack of six. Yeah, a pack of six. All of their clothing does. And uh, basically, it comes with this little top, which actually is really similar to the top I just showed you, which was the nude one. It's really similar. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same exact style, but with a long skirt. So this pencil skirt is not regular skirt material. It's what you would imagine like summer material would be. It's like really soft. It's almost cooling. If that makes sense, it's one of those materials where it's like, um, it's just very uh, breathable. And I like that with clothing a lot. So I'm very confident in the customers that buy this, that they will love it. So I bought it because in the stock photo, I felt like it could fit all different sizes and shapes of women really, really comfortably and cute. So um, I actually kept one for me and I don't typically do that, but I did that this time because I don't go clothing shopping a lot for myself and the style was just like really bomb. So whatever, I kept one. So I have five of them left and um, I might reorder these because they're really cute and they've gotten really good feedback so far from my customers. I haven't sold any, I just got them in just now, but um so far i've gotten a lot of likes on them on my third party selling apps and i think they'll do well so i bought these for 18.50 a piece which to me is not that bad for a two-piece set but it's just hard when you're starting a business like everything is so expensive you know you buy one style of clothing the basic crop tops were ten dollars a piece so that's sixty dollars that i spent on one style of a basic so um yeah it's it's one of those things where like all this was four hundred dollars and it's four styles so um i don't know if big corporations get deals or smaller like if they get charged less money i've always wondered that i actually don't know that at all but um i always wondered if like huge brands if they get better deals than we do 
uh, like have numbers worked out with these huge uh, vendors because they do buy from them a lot and I'm sure that they because my store like I'm not even gonna lie like it's small I have a small store um I can fit all my inventory into the office I'm in right now which I've been renovating that's why it looks like garbage behind me but um you know I don't have a huge corporation I keep all of my shoe inventory on a huge bookshelf I bought I have two racks of clothing I actually just made my own retail racks for accessories in this office so um, I would say that if I'm scaling my business it's pretty small right now like I don't have the hugest business yet and I do have multiple businesses and I am doing well for myself, but um, like I'm not rich and I don't make a six figure income off of this yet. So um, I don't know. It's like I'm where a lot of people are at. Like I'm not, you know, doing amazing and doing great and I can buy packs of 20. Like I don't even I can't even imagine that where I'm at right now, but I know I'll get there and if you're starting your business, like you can totally get there too, but just the beginning parts, it's overwhelming. I'm sure for a lot of people when, you know, you're ordering one pack and it's like $100. Um, this pack of these was like 120 and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like it was just so much money. But um, again, like I don't take it out of my own pocket. It's from business money. I, you know, if you guys would ever want, I could actually make a video on how I separate all my money from my business money to my personal money to my savings and my bills. And I actually just use percentages from every $100 I make. So like, let's say I made a grand in a certain amount of time, then I just split it up in hundreds and that always works for me. So um, I actually like, it's not like I'm like stressing about my own money. I have that separate and that's fine. But starting a business is wild and I know how hard it can be. So um, yeah, I'm just hoping that these vendor videos could give you guys some real insight on real vendors because, um, you know, I'm buying it firsthand. Like I'm not just saying it looks nice online and whatever, like I'm feeling it, touching it and seeing it with my own eyes in person and experiencing the purchasing process from these vendors. And from what I've seen um, from Hot and Delicious, they don't ever seem to deviate from their quality. Like I've never purchased something from them and I've bought quite a few things from them in person primarily, but um, I've never seen like a moment whenever they've had something and it's bad quality it's really good quality for fast fashion so the prices are not the lowest by any means though like i wouldn't suggest that be your first vendor you buy from i would suggest tresser as your first vendor because tresser is like i would say a third cheaper which it's like why would i buy from Han delicious well not everywhere has the same styles so um, I'm trying to buy from this one vendor for my next video. I really, really want to re like review this one vendor because I, when I went into their store in downtown, uh, Los Angeles, I was like, oh my God, like the quality was amazing and dresses were like $6 a piece. It was insane, like crazy. So, um, I've been you know, emailing with them for months now and they keep saying they're going to open and they keep not opening, which I understand, like we're in a pandemic. I'm not complaining, like, trust me, but um, it's one of those things where I feel like that would be a great starting place for a lot of stores. Like you could blow $500 there for your business easily and make your money back easily. So um, I just can't wait for them to open. I'm hoping that could be my next review but I've been so busy renovating and then doing my own things in my own life too. So talking so much, I need to take a deep breath. But um, anyways, yeah, I hope that this was helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. I'm happy to help. And um, like, I mean, it. I'm serious. Like if you guys want to ask me anything, I'm a very open book with my business because um 
it's just so hard like it is so hard to start your business and finding real vendors you know like there's a lot of like etsy vendor lists like free vendor list but literally i could go on fashion go and pull 100 names and sell it on etsy and that doesn't mean that it's good vendors or that i'm giving you any actual information about them so uh that's where i see the problem with selling vendor lists is you don't you're just buying names of vendors that you could google so you know it's one of those things but I would say that this is on the medium price point to the lower price point of wholesale. Um, there's some brands I wish I could review, but it's $25 a piece, and I think that's ridiculous, and I don't want to have to charge my customers $50 a piece to make my money back. So um, there's some vendors I will never review, um, and like that just is what it is. There's just some people who really gouge and mark up their prices and i'm sure that they're selling to boutique owners who sell stuff for like 120 dollars a piece and you know really high-end boutiques and i don't know if you guys have been to la or if you've been if you have in like west hollywood but there's a lot of boutiques that are like so overpriced and they sell like the weirdest stuff and they're just so overpriced like I don't know, I feel like LA is filled with so many boutiques that sell stuff at the hugest, I don't know if that's proper grammar, um, markup. So, sorry, I'm just ranting a little bit, but um, it's really important to do your own research because if you just go and buy a vendor list, you're not actually buying any information. I promise you, you're wasting your hard-earned money and it's not worth it. So I would Google and I would really work towards getting your Fashion Go account going because I've sat there and looked at, you know, for hours. I looked for four hours the other night just doing research on Fashion Go for new vendors. And I might even do a video on vendors that I'm not going to buy from that you guys might want to buy from because um, I doing all this research made me realize there's a lot of good vendors that for certain reasons I might not buy from, but it would be a really good one for other people to look into. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking. My mouth is literally getting so dry from talking right now. But um, yeah, anyways, I really hope that this was helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask or uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I will link my Instagram down below. It kind of has nothing to do with business. It's like a makeup Instagram, but um, yeah, I would love to hear if you guys have any questions or comments about these vendors. So anyways, I hope everybody is doing well and we are actually locked down again in LA right now. So um, that's because all these like influencers are going out like spreading sicknesses in my opinion. So you know, I've seen a lot of young teenagers who look like, this is so cringe, but they look like TikTokers, like, just running around, and a lot of people my age are partying right now, which I just feel like is so irresponsible, but whatever, like, it's survival of the fittest. If people want to go get sick and die, like, that's, that's on them. It's just sad because people are bringing sickness home to their families, so um, I hope that anybody watching this is not falling into that category or if you are rethink your choices and how they're not just affecting you they're affecting your family and like my dad's young he's like 47 but I would not forgive myself if he died because his immune system is worse than mine and I wanted to go drink at a party like I don't know it's selfish and I hope you guys are staying home and staying safe because things are crazy and it's not just, this isn't just LA that this is happening in, this is across the world. And the people who are seeing the best recovery rates and they're flattening the curve are people who are following the rules. And I know that's like a crazy concept to some people, but um, it's really important. And it's just really important, like, please stay at home. Please stop going out partying. And I know to, like, <laughs> the 50 people who will see this, it's, like, whatever. But I'm, like, I'm serious. It's it's not cool. And you're getting people sick. So please stay home. 
anyways, um, I will be making a video on photography. I'm not a photographer, but I will be making a video on photography next because I have acquired a lot of knowledge over this time of being at home and I actually learned how to do stock photos. So I'm going to share that with you guys in like a 20 minute tutorial, um, which with editing and all that too. So if you guys are interested in that, I will be probably releasing that in like a week. I'm really busy. So uploading is like, I like it. I enjoy it, but I'm just really busy, but I don't know. Thank you for my 21 subscribers and I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. And again, please stay safe. All right. Um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.